What is up, plant community? So, uh, I went ahead and did what I said I was going to do. I did clean out my bonsai pot. Um, the forest is just, was dead. There was no recovering from that. It was dry, deader than a doorknob, and once the lemon cypress bonsais or even just the lemon cypress in general gets dry, they, uh, they'll just completely die out. Um, and that's what happened here, but this is what I said is a blessing. So I did clean out his bonsai pot the best of my abilities. And, uh, I'm gonna get this tea tree back into shape. Um, this tea tree is a major rescue. When I got it, which it still does, it has this little broken little area right there where it's been split. Um, it's fairly hard for this tree to, uh, keep its moisture, I guess you could say, especially with the mix it's in. Um, I'm gonna be using a, uh, a normal potting mix for this particular bonsai. Um, it has been flowering for me, right there's the flowers, sorry the, uh, can I just zoom up on that? No, okay, I can't. But, uh, here, I'll show you. These are the, uh, sorry it's a little blurry. I don't really have the best camera. I'm just using my, uh, tablet to record because, uh, I don't really have what you call good technology right now. I'm, so I'm, I'm trying to wake up to that, but, uh, I lost my little stand there. But, uh, this guy has majorly done well for me. He, he was a rescue from Walmart. Um, now, when, I, I've been needing to work on this guy for a while. I kind of need to trim him back. He's kind of getting out there. And uh, need to trim some of these off. And he definitely needs some root work right here. And uh, I'm, I'm going to take him out of the pot. Again... I'll have a lot of proper tools, so for my root rake, I am using just a fork. I got my scissors for trimming. I got my, which I've washed the best I could. My big old gloppers for that uh, root. Now, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of this bonsai training pot as I'd call them probably keep it for maybe a bonsai project in the future or keep it as a training pot but uh I'm gonna train it to be in this pot which is a bit lower so I'll have to do quite a bit of a uh, root trimming uh, so I'm gonna start going out of here go place you on the stand so, I'll just take this pot away for a minute. All right. So the first thing I am, sorry about that. So the first major thing I am going to do to this tree is, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to really trim the branches yet, but what I will go ahead and do is I'll just kind of come in and trim some of the dry dead branches like right there oh trim that off trim that off let's see we got some dead right there go ahead and trim that off some more dead right there trim that and trim this little dead right here Because the dead really, really ain't going to affect this guy. Really all I'm doing is helping it bush out into 
more growth. Get some of this dead right here. Oh. Dead flower. Right in there. I need to. There we go. Uh, some dead all the way up on the top right here. Trim that right off. Dead flowers, some dead right there. Oh, trim that. Trim some of that. Turn around, got some more dead right there. That's gone. flower off but right there's another dead branch we'll cut right there let that new shoot grow um all right so that's looking good for the cleanup right there okay so there we got all all the dead off now it's time for the other step, which is taking it out of the pot. Now I definitely want to get all this fake moss off, but that'll come off right when I'm ready to repot. So I really, really ain't worried about all that. So, all right, so let's Let's get started here. Oh man, look at those roots. Oh, it's definitely needing a uh, root prune and all that. So we'll slowly take our tree here. We'll just uh, work on him. Oh yeah. There's a big root that definitely needs trimmed. Yeah, this is a... This is going to be a definite working progress here. Again, when you're doing this, you want to make sure that uh, you're not, you are not, and there just went that pot. Just place it on the ground. When you're doing this, sorry, you're not even in my view. There we go. When you're doing this, you want to try to not disturb as many roots as possible until you get to the trimming process. But you want to comb it out. You want to get all those dead, nasty roots out for sure. And you know, bonsais is a time consuming art. You can get them started like this. That root, man. That's, that's not flowing at all. Just kind of conformed with the pot. And, you know, this here will get rid of a lot of your uh, dead roots, too. Roots that are really... Not doing nothing for this tree. So there we go. We're getting to this to the roots. You know when when I 
first got into plants, I really, I really didn't get into bonsais much. And then I started looking more and more on Google and started watching a guy named uh, The Bonsai Zone in Canada. And uh, I just, I was like, man, this is kind of, this kind of looks fun. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get into bonsais and see what art I can do. Because, you know, I'm, I'm an artsy person anyways. I like drawing and uh, all kinds of things like that. So I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll give Bonsai a try and uh, see what I can do. There goes some dead roots. So I was like, I'll give it a try, see where I go. And uh, I, I really got into it because, in my opinion, it's kind of like you're creating your own miniature world, your own forest that nobody else can disturb or mess with besides you. You make the tree flow how you want it to flow. However you want that tree to flow. That's what you can do. All right. So, here's what we're left with. I should have probably gotten a bag, to be honest, to uh, throw away a lot of the soil, but Honestly, uh, from that little pot, I was expecting not much soil on my table. Okay. So. Man, it was so... Here went a leaf. That's alright, though. Just kind of try and knock out as much of that dirt as you can. Try to get some radial roots. And they're, honestly, with it being in that pot, there's just not a whole lot of that. There's some more dead roots. Let's take that. Okay, so I'll try to uh, so this is what I'm left with. So I definitely need to do some a bit of root trimming here. Well, first I'm. I might go ahead and take off this big root because it's really, it's flowing against the tree. It's not flowing with the tree at all. So, as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to have to do it. I have to get as close as I can and here I go. Ooh! What a... Big nasty flowing root that wasn't even really flowing with the tree. That's gone. That's completely gone. I might even cut it a little bit more down here. See how far I can get. Okay. Ow. My fingers. Okay, that's that's gone. Dad 
checking in on me for some reason. I don't think he's uh, used to me recording. Okay. See, I would have uh, really minded that root, to be honest. This little root here, if it was flowing better. And I could have uh, potentially corrected it, but there was, there's just no correcting that root. Literally, when they uh, created this bonsai, they just wanted to create it in a hurry and get it out there, basically. Okay, so let's see here. Definitely going to have to cut some roots. That's for sure. Got to do some trimming. So we'll try. This looks partially dead. We'll clip that. Uh, clip a little here. Kind of. Give it something like a haircut. But you don't want to trim too far on this guy. Because you do, you could wind up actually doing more damage than good. We'll trim a little bit right there. Now what we'll do is we'll comb it out. See how much radial we've got going on here. There's a dead root. Another dead root. Actually starting to get more of the tree now. Cool, cool, cool beans. Okay, so I think that's about the max of trimming I am gonna do on this tree, to be honest. Because I don't, I don't want to damage the tree any more than it has to be damaged. I'm going to get my soil for this pot. For my bonsais, I just use normal mix. Yeah, I'm I'm recording right now. That's setting. I think that's setting a bit too high. Kind of dig a bit of a deeper hole here. I think that's about right, right there. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's about it. Right there. Right there's where I want it. So we'll go ahead and get some... Soil. There we go. That's, that's standing up now. People have different mixtures and different things they do with uh, soil. Me... There went my fork. That's all right, though. Not trying to be perfectionists. I 
I did go ahead and moisten the soil because originally the soil was like extremely, extremely dry. I just realized I didn't really center this tree. See how it looks like that though. There we go. Let's try. I don't know, I kind of liked it when it was over a bit more towards the edge, to be honest. Uh, I don't know, I might, I might go ahead and do that. I might place it back a little bit closer towards the edge. Yeah, yeah, I like that bit better. Yeah, because, see, when, when you're doing the landscaping of a bonsai, you got to think... Where would I really be on this tree? I see myself right here, honestly, just kind of relaxing. That's, I think that's the key to a lot of great. Excuse me, uh, bonsai art. As you know, people really start thinking, oh, well, let's get some of that moss out of there. Is where, where would I be in this landscape on this little tree? And, uh, myself right there just kind of just kind of relaxing as the tree just leans over that's that's where I really see myself is some of that moist soil right here okay so now what we're gonna be doing is I'll be right back and we will start the landscaping process of bonsai. So I will be right back as I go get my materials. Okay, I am back. So what I did is I Went to my backyard, got some moss, some good old healthy moss, and I had these rocks from my uh, lemon cypress bonsai right here. So I don't know which rock I'm gonna use, but let's start. Uh, let's start planning this landscape out after I dust the edges off a bit. Um, let's see here. I like it. What about this more? We got one more rock right here, which we could do. Okay, so I 
kind of like that, more like that. So I add this rock back here. Do I really? I don't feel, should I add this one over on this corner? If so, how should I add that rock? Give me one more minute. So I found this rock. That's really too big to be honest. So what I might do is I might just kind of yeah, keep that one rock one rock right there then what I'll do is I'll take a bit of moss here and take that just kind of just wrap it around like it's grass So that needs to be done. Maybe take some more small patches here. Kinda. Place them in there like grass. Just small little patches. They don't have to be too big or, sorry, or too elaborate really. They just see like something like that right there around the tree. Sorry about that. Let's see what let's do one more minuscule little patch. All right there. Let's do a little patch around the tree. Okay, that's, that's around the tree. You got a little basic little trail going around the tree. Because again, when you're doing some of this art, it's important to imagine yourself in this little landscaped area. Now, we'll add some good old distilled water slowly slowly so that way all the bubbles and things like that come out of the soil and that way we're not really disturbing 
the new landscape for say we're not causing soil erosion so just slowly and gently so what, what I'm doing is, uh, since all this soil has been put in, is I'm basically just slowly putting the water in and not rushing it in too fast because when you do that, uh, it's just kind of like nature. Your soil will erode, basically, is what I call it. But really, what you're doing is, since there's air pockets in there, is you're allowing... For that soil to bubble up and flow over. So you just kind of do it very slowly, very patiently. And, and you know, honestly, I think this... I think this tree is really, really going to appreciate... There's no water coming out from underneath yet, so it's not fully watered. Really, just really appreciate that it's in a better soil condition, for say, than, say, what it was in. And all those dead roots are off. It can form new, uh... Oh, there it goes. There went the water. It could basically form these, uh new feeder roots and uh it's it's in soil that will actually actually hold its moisture better especially with the moss like the moss is in my opinion the best thing you can add because that moss it just holds that soil it holds the soil and it holds in the moisture which is good for your bonsai. Uh, again, but though the views can vary, it depends on which bonsai type of ordeal you want to do. Like, I know this is more of a tropical tree, and I viewed it as this tree being in somebody's yard. And by the way, its form, I imagine it being in like a Japanese styled yard. It's the way I, uh, I view this, uh, particular bonsai. Uh, of course, you know, people can landscape their trees differently, just like I have a rock ficus bonsai, and that rock ficus bonsai is a bonsai that is a desert-based bonsai, and I don't have it landscaped like this, but, uh, let me clean up here, and we'll take a good look at this bonsai now. Alright guys, so uh, I just got done with the landscaping and uh, cleaning up a bit. Let's, uh, let's look at what we've got so far. So, of course, this tree needs trimmed, and here's the landscape work. We have the tree. Of course, I'm gonna have to cut these off before they start branching eventually. I might do that within a week. And uh, this is my tea tree bonsai. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you want more bonsai videos like this where I'm working on them? Uh, give me a like and a uh, subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you.